Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing your bonus reads for April 2024. Let's see the messages you use. Coming towards you in love, career, money, finance, health. As Sagittarius, take whatever this resonates as this is a general reading. And for personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Follow my Instagram at iEnigma.in for crystal reels, feedbacks, and monthly free updates. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign in Sagittarius, plus cross watchers, see the messages. Eight of Cups. You're feeling defied in love. You're feeling like you don't have the kind of a lover, uh, the connection that you can proudly say this belongs to me. You walked away from someone. Extremely disappointing. You're like, when will I meet my person? I've reached so far. I haven't found my destination yet. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. I feel like there's this someone that you've walked away from that you're no longer talking to. I feel this person is trying to reconnect with you. They're trying to call you. They're trying to message you. They're trying to reconnect with you. Uh, but since you're not listening to this person, Sagittarius, they feel like they've regret now. They feel bad for letting you go. They feel bad for all that they did. They're regretting it. Someone is definitely regretting losing you. Okay, there is intense passion they have towards you. And I feel like for what they did, they regret it. But the truth over here is you cannot trust this person with love because this is someone that will always act moody. Sometimes when they want to show you love, they'll show you love. But when they want to act cold and distant, they will show that kind of energy. This is someone that is not as open in love or as warm. They are cold. They are distant. They are someone that is, you know, not an honest person. They always hide things. So you can't trust this person. That's what you think, Sagittarius. This is the reason why you feel backstabbed. You feel like you don't want to work on this connection because enough is enough. I'm going to give up on this person because they've done a lot and I'm getting hurt. So I'm leaving the situation. And on the flip side, this person is seeing this as a lost opportunity. They feel like they failed. Instead of, you know, instead of understanding that they've hurt your feelings, that uh, they didn't pay attention to your emotions, they're thinking about, oh, they ditched me. How did they ditch me? I missed an opportunity with this person. Something good could have happened. But how did they leave me? You know, they're not taking this as a lesson or rather taking this as a failure okay as if they lost something and now this person is getting extremely jealous i'm seeing there is a lot of jealousy between you and your person okay sorry this person is jealous of you not between you and your person your person is definitely very jealous of they can't see you moving on they can't see you leaving them they can't see you growing they can't see you expanding they can't just see you getting better than this person so they're boiling with jealousy and anger and they are also someone that could be at your workplace or some sort of a link is there they may be uh fighting with your father or a, an older figure that is a boss of yours or some sort of a leader that you're linked with I feel this person is gaslighting people against you. Have to be really careful, Sagittarius. There's someone that you cannot trust. Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay, Ace of Cups. If this person is gaslighting someone, that someone is not listening to that person. So you don't have to worry about a thing. If they have been talking rubbish about you to someone, that someone is just not trusting this person. They're rather trusting you. Now, let me tell you, there is a good news, Sagittarius. Someone new that is coming into your life, that's going to fill your life with happiness, wants to settle down. A loyal person, a loyal lover. A family-oriented person that sees you as a marriage material. A marriage material is coming towards you with a serious uh, love offer. This person wants to spend the rest of their life with you. They want to marry you with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm definitely seeing marriage happening here. So there is a new beginning in love. A lot of stability this person is coming towards you with. Okay, And then we're seeing the temperance. We're seeing the tower. 
Whoa, I feel like you've finally let go of this person. When this new person comes in, if you haven't let go of this person, you're very soon going to let go of this person because someone that you're dealing with is a pure narc. This person thinks about their own benefit. They don't care about your benefit. And this is someone that will create an issue out of nothing just so they can have a control over your life. So that person is going to again create an issue when they see you moving on from them, when they see you choosing someone else, when they see you talking to someone else, this person will get extremely jealous. This person will get extremely angry and will try to make a scene, okay? But you're trying to be relaxed. You're trying to be more, you know, at peace and at balance because you don't want to ruin your chances with a new person because of this person's continuous jealousy, blame games, manipulation, hate, drama, cry, emotions, which are not real. I'm seeing a new lover coming into your life. You have someone new is entering to replace the narc, okay? And there will be a lot of deception from the narc. I feel this person will try to gaslight this new person coming in will try to, you know, say things uh, against you or show them proofs, okay, that can also go against you. A lot of things can happen, so you have to be very careful that you don't let this person know about your new love. They are extremely jealous and you will be confused. You don't know how to tackle this. You won't know how to tackle this person is very clever. They will know how and where to, you know, gaslight and you will be confused like what is happening i'm not understanding what is happening i'm so confused okay so yes this can cause you a stuck situation this can cause you problems because you may have been entertaining a narc in your life the life is anyway shifting there will be a short period of delay because of this person entering or this person is causing you major trouble i'm also seeing that this person is after you for your money and nothing else they don't love you they just need your money or they just need your position okay so this person is leeching on you that you need to walk away from asap as soon as possible because definitely they have someone else in the picture as well they're talking to you they're sleeping with other people around someone that is completely fake cancer capricorn aries is possible here so be strong. You're trying to be strong, okay? And you are coming out, okay, as a stronger person. You're not getting affected because of this person. You're coming out strong. You're letting go of this person that has been causing you trouble without letting your heart and mind and soul affect it. It's hard, but you're doing it. You're being smart, okay? You're staying in control. You're staying strong. And this person will be, the moment you show your strength, this person will be all nice and sweet and come towards you to weaken you. And then I'm definitely seeing this as someone that is constantly trying for a reconciliation and you will be moving towards this new love coming into your life. And I'm also seeing there are kids in future. If you're in that particular age, you can definitely have kids in future. But I'm definitely, definitely seeing uh, that Sagittarius, that you're being strong and you're still dealing with this person with gentle heart. Sagittarius, please. Whoa, dealing with this person is one hell of a thing. You might be working with this person and that is also one of the reasons why you can't completely skip this person out of your life or leave this person out of your life. You're so scared. But at the same time, you 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 believe in the divine timing. You know that something will happen that will make you drift away from this person for good. I will wait for a sign from you. Yes. This I feel like you're just looking for that one good sign to leave this person forever. Okay? And this is going to happen. And one good sign is you have someone new that's coming and it's going to change your whole mind. Okay, that's going to give you more confidence to deal with this person. Yes, I'm seeing a major change. Some of you are relocating, shifting to a better place where there is a lot more happiness and success coming into your life. Sagittarius. I'm seeing if you have been sleeping together or if you've moved in, then you're moving out. Okay, express your love. 
playfulness. You're going to meet this new person when you're completely unaware of when my new love will be coming. It is going to be a random meeting. It is going to be when you're just simply being by yourself, simply being playful, doing your own thing, loving yourself. And, you know, um, there is someone that's going to be coming towards you in a playful way. And you guys will gel with each other so well that you will regularly start meeting. Okay. And they will be the one that will propose you. They will be expressive. And this is someone that will bring optimism. Okay. They're very optimistic. Sagittarius. Yes. I'm definitely seeing this person is going to envy a lot when you're with this person. You can't deal with them. They're completely emotionally disbalanced mentally disturbed that you need to let, let go of okay there's a lot of jealousy i'm also seeing you becoming a more uh, like you're leading i'm seeing you reaching a higher position i'm seeing you becoming a boss a leader okay i feel i feel like whatever your field is you will be uh in charge of it okay you will be taking the charge of that situation so you will be the leader you will be the boss in, in your field and there will be a lot of envy with the person that you're dealing right now okay that you need to walk away from there will be a lot of envy coming from this current person or the person you just left okay and they will try to distort destroy your reputation and just play with your head you know so that you don't outgrow this person you're definitely becoming successful okay it's not as if you need anyone yeah you don't really need this person you can just simply walk away from this person move out and somewhere i feel you have this fear of oh if i leave this person how will they manage their life how will they deal with themselves how things are going to change um in your life so you don't really need anyone you don't really need this person in order to be successful you are a pretty strong personality by yourself that is what you will realize yes you're going to say no to this person i'm seeing you rejecting this person and they're not able to take this um at all sad please yes you have to take that first step okay i feel there is a fear of hurting someone yes but you can't be in the position of nothing you feel like a nothing with this person they make you not they, they never make you feel good they never make you feel like uh you're appreciated they don't appreciate you so now it's time for you to walk away from that tough bore monotonous situation in your life to come into a more exciting phase in your life okay You're denying that this person will um, hurt you. You're, you're denying that this person won't accept your rejection. You're just denying in your own head. If I do this, no, they're not going to accept. This is not going to work out. So there is a need for you to accept that this is a fear. And I have to change the fear into a blessing. I have to do what I have to do. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Somewhere you have a comfort of this person that is like making you want to stay a little bit more and waiting for the right time to reject this person. But I feel this is the right time for you to reject this person. This is someone that you really are tired of dealing with. Okay. Another thing. You are the boss. You have to take the lead. Okay. It is you who has to take the lead. You decide. And this person won't even say a word. All right seeking advice from you yes this person is highly negative you need to remove this person from your system okay wear a smoky quartz if you can but there is a negativity created because of this person that you're trusting so much or the past person i'm definitely seeing they're creating problems for you okay playfulness time for you to release this tough situation that you cannot handle anymore and move towards the light and you will feel yourself being uh, happy with love coming into your life to heal you i'm definitely seeing this new love is extremely playful and they're gonna crack a lot of jokes and gonna be very funny and they will be uh, extremely lucky for you because you'll start to focus on yourself more you'll start seeing yourself as more worthy you will be in limelight you will be more successful this person will always appreciate you there's a lot of changes that you will see because of this new person coming into your life you, will, you could be dealing with a pisces Libra or a Gemini. 
Now let's see. From Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Aries for Sagittarius, please. Okay. The Aries person is regretting letting you go, but this person is trying to get you back in order to convince you until you say yes. Taurus. The Taurus is madly in love. They cannot let you go. They will cry if you leave. Gemini. It's more about money. They don't care about you. They care about their reputation. Cancer. This person is hiding the fact that you make them happy and excited. Okay? This is someone that doesn't want to lose control over you. Maybe this is a new person. Leo. Leo is using you for their personal reasons. I feel they are keeping you around so that you can help them with work. But if this is not a work-related situation, this person is manifesting you and they're doing spells to be with you. Libra. Okay. The Libra has found someone else and moved on. Scorpio. Okay. The Scorpio is more about me, myself, and I. They think you're a loser. Sagittarius. Okay, the Sagittarius is coming towards you from the past. I feel this person feels a strong nostalgia and feelings towards you. They want to fix things or you're the one that's continuously giving chances to the past person. You need to not give. Capricorn. They're in love. Aquarius. I feel like since you walked away, this person has been looking for you, but somehow they're not feeling the same kind of strength and confidence to reach out for whatever they did, but they will reach out. Pisces. Okay, Pisces is scared of your confidence, your strength, and they feel insecure and they feel like you, you challenge them without even trying to challenge them. They feel challenged by you because your personality is stronger than this person. That can also cause blockages between you guys. Yes, I feel like uh, how your person will be attracted towards you is because of how you smell. You look really good. You smell good. Okay. Some of you, you might start your own business. You guys may be partners or you will attract someone that will partnership with you in their business. The name N and S. Someone's from New Zealand, Norway, New York. Hannah could be the name, Honduras, Hungary, Dubai, Nashville, Texas, Thailand, India, Romania. Okay, these are the letters in your person's name. Someone is in science, science field. This person could be Ria, Aryan, Ariana, okay, Ariana. Rebecca, Nathan, okay, Aaron, Arnold, R I N. You know, these are the letters in you or your person's name. Someone from Pakistan as well, as far Afghanistan, um, Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Nigeria. North America, Africa, Rwanda, Ghana, Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. It's time for you to end things. Okay. You have the key towards your happiness. You know it all. It's time for you. I'm also seeing that this person is interfering in your business a lot. You have to understand that there is a line. Okay. That no one can cross. Someone from Iran. Itihad, yeah, run away is also what I'm seeing, okay. NH is something that I'm strongly sensing, NH, something to do with NH, something about the location as well. Armin, Connery, Canara, something like that. I feel like I'm hearing adamant. The one that you need to let go of is extremely adamant and they want reunion, consistent reunion with you. You have to stop somewhere to draw the line. 
Okay, Anna could be the name. Okay, Harley, Harneet, Harry, Adriana, Adelaine, Australia. Okay, so uh, this is what I'm getting. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read, Sagittarius. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to INA Mal. See you back again with more stuff.